All right. So today in this video, I'm going to introduce Higgs field popcorn, which is actually way better than Google's Nano Banana and Sea Dream. So basically, Higgs field popcorn allows you to upload a couple of reference images, and then you can ask the AI to create any sort of scene, and you just have to describe it and hit enter, and within seconds, popcorn will create an entire storyboard with all the scenes, like all the images. And the cool thing here is that character consistency is one of the top things that Higgs will live up to. So whatever images or scenes that you generate, as long as you give the same reference image, the character consistency is going to be always top notch. So today in this video, I'll show you how you can use Higgs field popcorn to create a storyboard. I'll show you how you can upload image and get character consistency and also generate various scenes just by prompting. And again, to get started, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to Higgsfield.ai. And as you can see right now, here I have opened up Higgsfield popcorn. So first thing first, visit the first link in the description below and go ahead and sign up for a new account. And as you can see, it says create visual stories with Higgsfield popcorn, easily create a storyboard that lets you plan and visualize your idea before generation. And now a lot of you might be already aware of Higgsfield, right? Now, the interesting thing about popcorn is that you can now go ahead and create an entire storyboard and after the images are generated, you can directly convert them into videos as well using any model of choice. So you can actually create the scene and not only create the image version of it, but also create videos out of it. And as I mentioned earlier, character consistency is the key and popcorn absolutely delivers. And now to get started, you have two options. So as you can see here, we have two options that is auto and manual. So basically the idea is that you can upload up to four images as reference. And after that, you can give a description as to what kind of mood or action or how, how you want the scene to be. Like you have to give a text description and then you can select the number of results. And as of now, you can select from one result to eight results. And then you can also select an aspect ratio and click on this generate for free button right here. And within seconds, Higgsfield will generate all the images with character consistency. And now here we also have a manual mode. So basically in manual mode, again, you can attach up to four reference images and you can individually explain what happens in each of these scenes like this. And again, if you want to add more scenes, you can click on this add scene button and then add more scenes as well. And first of all, I'll start with the auto mode. Now, just as to show you how this actually works here, I have an image of this lady right here. And this right here is yet another image of a Canon camera, like a DSLR camera. So next step, let's just say I want to create a storyboard where the lady in this particular photo is holding this particular camera and is walking through the Times Square in New York, taking photos and videos of the skyline, like all the skyscrapers. So that is the scene that I want to build. And I also want like four of them. So all I have to do is to first drag and drop both these images like this. First of all, this right here is the photo of the lady. And then this right here is the photo of the camera. And now I can give a description. Young lady in the first photo holding the camera in the second photo and walking through the Times Square in New York and capturing photos and videos of the tall skyscrapers. Okay, so basically I just explained exactly what I want the AI to do and I also uploaded both the reference images as well. And now all I have to do is to select the number of result I want. So in this case, I want four, but if you want to, let's say six or five or seven, you can actually add that in here and I'll select the aspect ratio as let's say three is to two. That looks good. And now all I have to do is to click on this generate for free button right here. And there you go. Popcorn has started working on the same. And here we can find the prompt and within seconds, the AI will create all four of these scenes that we asked for and show us the result in here. So let's wait for it. And there you go. Here we have all four of these scenes that we asked for. And this right here is the first one. And as you can see, here we have the lady holding the camera in the hand in New York Times Square. I just asked the AI, I mean, I gave reference photos. So these two are the reference photos that I gave. And these are the images that the AI has created. So this right here is the first one. Look at the character consistency, by the way. So this right here is the second one and the lady is even holding the camera correctly. And this right here is the third photo and this right here is the fourth photo. So we have all four of these photos in here, like images are already done. And you know what the interesting part is? If I click on any one of these images, I can find a couple of options like use in popcorn, upscale, download, edit and animate. So if I click on this use in popcorn button right here, I can add that image back into the scene and I can let's say reference image and then I can start giving updated prompts and create scenes out of it. 
or let's say you want to directly animate or let's say turn this image into a video well all you have to do is to click on this button that says animate and as you can see it has already loaded the photo and now i can give a detailed prompt and then click on this drop down menu right here to select the exact a model that i want to use for video generation as you can see here we have all these models from higgs field then i have sora 2 sora max sora 2 pro then here i have google vo i mean pretty much all these models are in here and i can give a prompt and generate a video from higgs field itself and now just as to show you how to instantly turn a image into video i'll select one of these click on animate button towards the bottom and now i can give a prompt saying the lady capturing photos of the skylines in the new york times square using her camera okay and i'll select the model as let's say google vo3 fast and i'll click on this generate button right here so there you go here we have the video ready and let me quickly play it for you let's see look at that the cars moving in the background the lady in here and it is like an eight seconds long video okay so I instantly turned that image into a video using Higgs field itself and now in a similar fashion you can repeat the exact same steps for all these images and turn all of them into videos as well and that's how simple it is. And now I can come back and now as you saw this is how simple it is to use Higgs field and next up if you want to manually do things you can also give manual prompt as well and now I'll click on new and maybe delete all of this and next up I'll upload this particular photo of a person. So I'll just upload the same in here and after that I'll give a prompt something like this and as you can see it says the man looks for a dragon walking through the forest he finds and fight the dragon from a cave in Ghibli styled medieval age. So this right here is the prompt and this time around we are trying to create uh, scenes in Ghibli styled image okay. So the result like I'll keep it as 4, 3 to 2 looks good and now all I have to do is to click on this generate for free button right here. And there you go they are in progress and let's wait for it here we have the ghibli styled storyboard and scenes here as well so this writer is the first one so looking for the dragon so this writer is the second one there you go walking into a cave and fighting the dragon so we just gave a one simple line of prompt and here we have all four of these scenes and character consistency is also in point like all these characters in all these frames are exactly the same the costume is same and accessories are same and pretty much everything is same and again if you want to you can turn this into uh, animation you can download this image or take it from here and it is as easy as that and again if you do want to use the newest Higgs field popcorn all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to this website and you can start giving reference images and prompt and create storyboards and scenes and you can take it up from there and once you have all these images you can turn them into video and get going and it is as easy as that so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one